Harry Houdini here in the Antipodes. You'll have to look that word up. Now, um, I've got to do some thank yous. It, uh, it appears I'm getting famous. Well, infamous. Well, notorious. Well, I'm a legend in my own lunchbox. <laughs> now, I've had two shout outs this week. Goodness me. Um, JD, thanks, mate. Thanks for basically letting people know that I exist and you like my channel. And Museum Modeler, mate. You're in the body bill with me. I better do that bloody Arizona. Better get on with it. So thanks, guys. Uh, I've got a troll. I've got some guy trying to scam me for likes so he could um, basically you know, push on whatever crap he's trying to bloody get out of the world. Um, I, got a, I got my first dislike on a video. Oh, considering there's bloody hundreds of likes there and I got my first dislike, I was upset for about two seconds and then I went, ah, <laughs> stuff ya. And the thing is, these, these, these wankers, right? You didn't like my video? Well, that's fine. Why didn't you let me know what the problem was, you know? Was it something personal? Was it something I said? I'd like to know. Why be a bloody gutless wonder and just go, Yeah, I'm going to push this like. That's it. That'll show him. That'll show the little wanker. <laughs> Anyhow, look, don't care, all right? Um, haven't got long enough to live to really worry about dickheads like that. Now, I'm heading off to Brisbane because I've got to show them my, um, my Warhawk, right? My Muddy Warhawk, which um, I was pretty sort of apprehensive about putting it out on the video because I had really muddied it up. But I've had a terrific response and you guys seem to like what I've done. So thanks. I mean, I'm happy with it. Put bullet holes in it, mud and crap all over it. You know, I just did what I do to a tank. Speaking of tanks, I was thinking, going to Brizzy, going to go to the model club, we show off our bills, sure, but we, we make something while we're there. And I didn't want to take the snowmobile down, the, the aero sand, because it's too sort of finely detailed and everything, and the lighting's not that good. And cars, you sort of end up chatting and whatever, I'd probably lose a few bloody parts on the floor. You know, get knocked over with me cup of tea. So I thought, I need something big, bold, easy, don't give a stuff about. I remembered, I had a headser. Yes. It's a, an Academy. Um, 38T. Now, you know I've done that 35T. I love it. I've got a Dragon proper 38T in there that I'm looking forward to build. But I forgot I had this little sucker sitting there. Now, um, I got this because it has this terrific sort of little colour scheme. It's very unusual. And um, there was one... I forget the guy's name. He always tells me, comment, please. Whoever made one of these and put it on, I think it might have been in the um, the Armoury Flying Hangout thing. You know, Tim Timothy's bloody group. And, um, yeah, let me know who you were again. I forget, because I want to pick your brains. Um, but I thought, I'll do this. So I looked up on BoobTube, and I thought, uh, must be a, a, a review there somewhere. I'll just double check if there's any problems. Nah, couldn't find one. So I thought, ah, bugger it. I'm going to have to do one. So here is a very quick review of what's in this kit, so I can start cutting it up and get on with it later today at the uh, Riverside Skull Modelers Club meeting. Here we go. Right, so what's in the box? Lots of plastic. All right, let's, uh, let's demolish this sprue by sprue. See what we've got. Um, I'm not going to do the instructions first. I'm going to do the plastic first. So uh, here we go. This is it. Oh, that exciting moment when you first cut in. And you did a lousy job, Harry, didn't you? <laughs> there, better. Better, better, better. Wasted half the video on... Uh, opening the bloody box. Well, move this crap out the way. Um, this is the, uh, basically the tub. And, um, oh, that's, you know, it's all pretty basic. It's nice and clean. There's not much detail on, uh, on the lower half. Um, the, the upper half looks a, a little more exciting. Yeah, that's got, um, that's got a bit more detail on. There's some rivets there. You can count them. Start counting. One, two, three, four. There you go. You'll be fine. Bloody rivet counters. Um, that's all pretty basic, but um, I know this builds up really nicely. And, um, you know, there's not much to a good old headser, is there? All right, that's sprue number one. Not much to it. A couple of, you know, bottom tub, top bit. Right. Okay. Um, now, this looks interesting. Um, this looks very interesting. This time I make sure I cut the bugger all the way in. Um, 
Lincoln length. Now, I've had my misgivings about Lincoln length with um, various of the uh, other kits that I've made, you know, um, notably Zvezda, that was pretty bloody awful. But um, this one doesn't look too bad. There's, um, there's enough there to um, you know, get things together. The detail looks quite good. Detail looks very nice. And at least with Lincoln length, you're saving a lot of time. You haven't got so many indie links to you know, fart and faff around with. So we'll see how this one goes, hey? Um, you know, they don't look too bad, and they're going to cut off the sprue nicely, just on the ends there, so that's pretty easy. That's, it's pretty similar to um, the CMK one, and that Lincoln length on that was so easy because um, there wasn't a million sprue points to cut and file and fart around with, and there's no, no, the, um, no, there's no injector marks there that I can see. Can you see? Your eyes are probably better than mine. No, that looks okay. So I reckon Lincoln length might actually work on this one. And what have we got here? Now, we've got um, mantlet. Mantlet. A bit of texture on it. Don't know if it's going to show up. Probably not. Bit of texture. It's not too bad. Um, you know, what is that? A glacis plate? I don't know the names of these bloody things. Bit of detail in there. Look, see, it's not too bad. It's sort of... It reminds me of um, sort of Tamiya, you know. There's sort of enough to make it interesting, but it doesn't really go, you know, overboard. Oh, here's a nice little uh, little bloody doodad here with with um, weathering on it, or with um, you know, a bit of texture. Yes, that looks um, that looks quite uh, quite good. I don't think we're actually supposed to use that in this, but it's interesting that all the bits are there. If I want to uh, go go berserk and and build a uh, a 38 uh, T um, Hetzer with um with a big long barrel because really the picture shows um you know it's basically almost like a reconnaissance vehicle it doesn't have sort of much happening there but i don't know we'll, we'll see the mood may may take me oh what we've we got here we've got deck owls see they're the, they're the ones that, that sort of made this interesting that they're uh, you know it's the prague 1945 version and there's all these lovely decals so um we should we should do that we should do that yeah what am i doing here sprue everywhere what have we got now? There's this little fiddly bit here, which is basically so that you can set up the little um, little MG, which is going inside the mantlet there, um, because you know you're not going to run the big barrel. Well, maybe I'm getting enthusiastic about the big barrel now. I might just you know throw caution to the wind and say bugger it, even though I bought it because of the prettiness. I might just make this a um, a 38T like uh, uh, Hetzer with, with everything, with with all the enchilada, with everything to go. Right, what have we got here? Wheels. Oh, I really enjoy my wheels. Now they look great. They look quite good. There's enough um, detail on there. They'll take some weathering and oh, look at this. Look at this one. These little sprockety things here. They're uh, they're quite nicely done. And um, always good to look at the arse end of it and see what they've done there too. Did they bother to detail? Yes. Yes, it's all looking very good. It's all looking very nice. So um, the little springs are all uh, all detailed up. It's not too bad. You know, it, it's certainly not the, um, the world's most detailed kit, but I think with a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of fun and a little bit of effort and a bit of weathering, she's going to come up great. Okay, so two of those. You don't need to see the other one. And the last sprue, so there's not much to this. Not much to this sucker at all. So I reckon it's a good one for me to take down to Riverside and um, start playing with today because I can just have some fun with this kit. You know, I've had... Um, too much stress with, with badly going together warhawks. <laughs> and I want something to build that I'm really going to enjoy. I mean, oh, the, um, the, the snowmobile, the aerosand, that's, that's a beauty to joy. That's a joy to build, but um, it's a bit fiddly for today's exercise. So um, look at that. A lot going on there. Can't complain about bits there. So, um, yeah, there's, um, there's quite a bit happening here. Um, should do this, shouldn't we? That's what we do this for. There we go. Now you can see what's going on, can't you? So um, that's probably the bum of the thing. Oh, there we go. There you go. We can see the tools. Tools don't look half bad. You've got a jack there. You're going to put it all together out of bits and pieces. Look like there's a few little figures. We'll have a quick look at the instructions. Um, you know, final drive stuff there. That all looks quite good. Grills and grates and fenders and, you know, look, there are the barrels. I wanted to go berserk and I say I'll make this into a... Um, a Hetzer with a with a big phallic symbol. I can do that, and um, I might I might just choose to do that. You never know. Whatever takes my whim at the time. So um, interesting to know where those figures go. Let's have a quick squizzy instructions. Eh? So that's a basic look at the kit. And I say I'm not 
not 100% familiar with the, this tank, so I can't really do a critique. But I'm just showing you the plastic, because nobody else has done it from what I can gather. No one's done this one. So uh, there we go. Here's your colours. There it is. Typical Academy. And it's a bit of a foldy outy one, so you've got a sort of a, you know, a great big long novel to read here. <laughs> oh, dear. Bumping everything. All right, construction looks fairly easy. You just basically... Um, you know, you've got some bits and bobs here to glue to the tub, which are going to be the mounting points for the wheels. Um, on they go with a the little uh, springs there, and um, that all looks pretty easy, doesn't it? And then there's um, there's all those wheels. They're one-piece one piece wheels, two-piece sprockets. Okay, so yeah, there's um, two, well, three pieces with a hardened two-piece there, return roll or something, by looks of things. Or is that the drive? That's the drive. And the sprockety one's the... Um, Oh, I don't know. One of them does one thing. One of them takes the motor and the other one just flips and robs around. Who cares? I'm just going to build it. I'm not too worried about what goes where. I made an absolute idiot myself with the uh, review on the um, Panzer II where I called the gearbox the motor and thought the thing was front-wheel drive. What an idiot. What an Aussie drongo. Look, there's your Lincoln length. Shows you um, that goes together rather easily and gives you a little bit of flexibility in what's doing what. So that doesn't look too hard. That doesn't look too hard at all. And, um, you know, there's the... Uh, the rear plate there so um, yeah the one without the sprockets does look like the drive because that's the rear plate motor's got to be there and um, there's the top hatches and things there's enough to keep me busy it doesn't look too bad at all there's enough to keep me interested all right and you've got a few little interior details you've got the um, the periscope and um, you know a few little bits and bobs here yeah so that's sort of good and then you've got your tools going on and there's that uh, there's that jack with uh, uh, quite a few parts there. That'll keep you sort of busy. Now this little plate goes over here which kind of hides that top rail of um, track so that's probably why they didn't worry about there's no sort of um, sag in it. And you probably don't need to worry about that because yeah this little uh, little plate here. Although I might break and bust it up a bit and make it a bit bit interesting. So um, there she is again. And there is a little bit of photo itch in this. What happened to that? I was flicking and buggering things around and I... Here it is. Oh, oh dear. Bear with me. Bear with me, the Aussie idiots found it. Right, yes, there is photo etch. So there's a few things there that are going to get, um, here's a grill, and uh, there's obviously some little plates and things like that. So there's a little bit of photo etch, a bit of token photo etch. You know, it's almost mandatory these days, isn't it? It's like, you know, put some photo etch in. I'll buy the kit, they'll go, great, it's got photo etch, must be good. So um, there you go. So flipping over from that, um, there's your final assembly there, and there's the, there's the MG goes in and so that's um there's that um that uh, that little optional piece that they've put in there which which looks like a little bit of um of something else not plastic what is it i don't know brain's not working it's really early i'm trying to get ready to go to brisbane um that's um resin resin yeah and there's a little photo etch thing there and you know and there's question marks as to what you want to do do you really want to get up in the morning do you really want to go to brisbane yes that's all optional in this um and there's the paint scheme. Now that's the super duper, and that's probably the reason I got this, is that lovely, lovely colour scheme. And I don't know if I can put the big barrel in and keep to that colour scheme. I don't know. I'll have to do some research and see. Wouldn't that be nice? I kind of like a big barrel. And it came with a sprue map, so that's, that's nice. And it's all numbered, and um, everything's there. And you've got some thread too, which I imagine is some sort of tow hook type thing. Oh, I probably won't like that. I'll get rid of that and get a piece of wire. You know, I really don't like using cotton thread for my uh, for my um, my tow hooks. So look, there you go. There, there it is. That, that's 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 the bugger. There we are. <laughs> so that's that's what she should look like. What I'll do with it is anyone's guess. But that's a uh, that's a quick review of this um, Academy 38T Jag Panzer Hetzer Prague 1945. Well, there you go. That's it. That's the kit. I've been through it. So one of my reviews. Yes, I know they're not very informative and they're not very intelligent. It's just what I do. Well, you've seen the plastic. You've seen the instructions. Figure it out for yourself. You're a bloody modeler. <laughs> Look, um, it's, uh, it's Academy, and so you don't expect too much, but it doesn't look too bad. So I think I have fun with this today. And when I come back um, with the next part in a series on this, because I'll, I'll, I'll do all the steps. I'll show you what happens. We'll um, We'll see how it goes. And I'm going to build it pretty well out of the box. And um, I don't know if I'm going to use the big barrel. I'm going to go with the small MG. Who knows? Whatever my whim 
and my fancy takes me. <laughs> Who knows what I'm going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do next. Anyhow, I can't waffle on here and talk to you all morning. Now, go and bloody make some models or something. I've got to get ready, get down to Brisbane, show my um, my, 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 my P40E, my muddy up P40E, and um, spend the day gluing plastic and smelling, smelling bloody uh, glue with me mates. So, bugger off. See ya. It's uh, Goodbye from Australia, and it's Huru from Harry Hidani. Thank you.